What do you want? Well, we all want something, right? And it changes. It changes often, changes quickly, and usually we want more than one thing at a time. You know, when we're little kids, maybe we look at what some other kid has got for lunch and we think, well, I want what that kid's got for lunch. And as we grow up, we keep wanting. Why is that? Well, God gave us desire. He gave us the ability to desire things. Is that good or bad? It's good because God gave it to us. You know, we can use it in good and bad ways, like a lot of things, you know. Is the internet good or bad? Neutral. How we use the internet is good or bad. Is money good or bad? Money's neutral. How we use money is good or bad. And many, many, many of the things of this world, they're neutral. Sometimes people will look at them and say, oh, that's bad. But the reality is the thing itself is just neutral. It's how we use things that gives them their positive or negative attribute. One of the things that's really powerful about the first Christians is that they created something that other people in their culture wanted. Other people in their culture were attracted to the first Christians. They wanted what the first Christians had. If you think about the first century, the first century was miserable. I mean, people were not treated as people, they were treated as numbers, you know. You know, the first century was miserable. There was a lot of hunger, there was a lot of poverty, there was a lot of sickness. And along comes this group called Christians. You know, they're really kind, they're really thoughtful, they're really generous. They love each other in a way that the people of their time had never seen. They had something that people wanted, that people desired. What have we got? What are we creating in our Christian communities that makes people look at us and say, wow, I want to be a part of that. What have we got in our Christian families that makes people think, wow, I want my family to be like that family. What have we got that's captivating the imagination of the peoples of our time? Because when Christianity is lived, it's desired, it's desired.